I'm Brian Barney, and today I'm bow hunting Montana elk. There's elk. We have been through so many trials and tribulations. We looked on our phone last night and we're 46 miles the last three days, so we've averaged over 15 miles every day. There's nothing like hunting elk during the rut, and this has just been vintage elk hunting. Here's elk. We got in here today. We got in here on this closed road. We're a few miles in here. We've seen three elk so far, a cow and a calf and a spike bull. And then I just spotted a couple way across this deal. So um, we're gonna get some good vantage points here and look around. Hopefully we can find a six point bull to go chase. Tan, but he's, he's a good six on his close side and then he busted on his far side. We're just sitting here. We built a fire down here. We hiked down a few miles. We were just sitting here by the fire and glass down there and there was two bulls that came up our draw here. They were following a cow and a calf and they're both nice six points. So we're going to give them a go and get on this other side of the draw and see if we can put them to bed and make a stock on them. But we're pumped. I mean, that's what making a fire will do for you. You know, you just stop moving and you sit down and we're sitting on the best vantage point and just looking over country and all of a sudden there's a bull. So um, we're stoked. We're going to go make a play on them. So we got in here and relocated the herd. They had moved up into the bowl up in there and there's bulls going everywhere, breeding cows and fighting up there. And, and uh, we found a new bull. He's just a giant. We hadn't, we didn't see him this morning with the crew, but um, he's on the outside of the herd and kind of bedded closest to us. And we've got a great wind. So we're gonna try to crawl in on him. We're about 300 yards now. Um, it'll be a slow go at him, but we got to give him a try. Man, he's a giant. Love to get an arrow in that bull. Well, we were close. We caught that big bull. We tried to make a play on him and got to 200 yards and there was no getting any closer. We were just so exposed. So we were just losing light. We're just giving it all we had here, just trying to get close. But man, what a great bull, just too bad. And it was worth going for. We had a perfect win. So we just had to make it over that last knoll, but um, is what it is. That's elk hunting. Okay, 
so hunting this morning and we located this bull over on this hillside. He's with a cow and a spike. There's probably some more cows in the bottom. He's in a good spot and a decent wind. I think we might try to get aggressive with him while he's feeding before he puts away. So we're gonna hustle up and see if we can't get around that bull. good I missed him um, man I just had a split second opportunity there he, but I think he was actually closer than I thought I think I shot right over top of him but um, boy that's how it goes I mean it's not always perfect and had a chance at him and it was like that was my my one time to to try to get him there it just didn't work out but yeah it's too bad but just how it is So I hit him, but the arrow didn't penetrate very far, but it's right in the spot, maybe a touch low. I think we got him. I think it's a done deal, dude. Right on, dude. Oh, unbelievable. We've had so many trials and tribulations. I swear Dalton, listen, my cameraman's gonna quit me here. Missed one last night, we guessed at the yardage, but finally got it right on a decent six point. I can't believe it, just awesome. Man, we got in here this morning and we could hear him bugling and then we had this lone bull. Man, he was coming right up at us. 
put a good shot on them. I mean, so we're just giving them a little time here, let them bleed out, and then we'll go over the hill and pick up the blood trail. But man, I'm just pumped. We have been through so many trials and tribulations. We looked on our phone last night and we're 46 miles the last three days. So we've averaged over 15 miles every day. I'm just pumped it came together. It's just unreal. There's nothing like hunting elk during the rut. And this has just been vintage elk hunting. This is as good as it gets. Chasing six points during the rut, it just doesn't get any better. So I'm just thrilled and thrilled to get this bull and all this good meat this is absolutely awesome. So a great Montana bull. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take big game.